If you're looking for a dark, mysterious, yet beautifully simple synth, then you might want to look into Teletone Audio's Scarbo. Hey everyone, my name is Robert Rodriguez and I'm a composer and orchestrator. If you're new here, I want to invite you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I also want to give you access to my free composer reference guide. It's going to cover the basics on how to write for different genres of film and television music. So if you are interested in that, check out the link in the description down below. So like I said, Teletone Audio's Scarbo is this dark and mysterious yet beautifully simple synth that runs on the contact player, both the free and paid version. It's inspired by Maurice Ravel's Scarbo and behind the scenes, it has so many moving parts and technical aspects behind it. But on the surface, it's simple and elegant and creates these sounds and textures that could really be perfect for your own music. And I'm so excited that Teletone Audio was generous enough to reach out and provide a copy of Scarbo so I can discuss it with you all. So if you are interested in getting this library for yourself, you can save 15% on Scarbo with my discount code Robert. So let's first check out Scarbo just on the Teletone Audio website. Right off the bat, we see that it's $89, but remember you can save 15% by using the discount code. And what's great is that it does work with the free contact player, so you don't need to make the purchase if you're not there yet. With the music maker in mind, Scarbo takes all the intricacies of sound design and places them under the hood to create an easy and inspiring instrument. So really you get to see the interface, but underneath is everything that's going on in the background. It seems like the mood knob is gonna affect like the character of the sound, while the movement knob is going to more affect like the feel and the rhythm of the synth. And it looks like they came out with a newer update, so it offers more patches and presets to play with, and it introduces multis, where it's gonna stack different patches together just to give you a new interesting sound. You can see some of their videos that they have. Definitely check out the Teletone Audio YouTube channel. Over there, they're gonna give more of an in-depth walkthrough and overview of just all of their products. You can listen to some examples that use Scarbo, um, some testimonials, more examples, the walkthrough, the free contact player that it runs on. And remember, it is $89, but you can save 15%. It's gonna take up 600 megabytes of disk space. You're gonna need to download the Pulse app, and then you can take the, the code that you're given for this library and then apply it to the Native Access app as well so that it will run on Contact. All right, so I opened up a new session in Logic, pulled up Contact, and started searching for Scarbo. So right off the bat, we have an instrument tab and a multi tab. So with the instruments, what I like about this is that you just get everything in alphabetical order. It's not as confusing as I've seen with other synth libraries where you get 30 presets in like one folder and then you open up another and there's another 30. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just instruments, alphabetical, and then a couple of multis, which I'm super excited to try these out. So let us just load in the very first one, a slight tension. And so right away we see the simplicity behind this interface, right? We only have two faders, the modulation and expression, which should be automatically mapped to maybe your mod wheel and then your CC11 fader. It comes with your basic knobs like attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. The mood knob is gonna have two options where you can go less or you you can go more and by default it looks like it just starts off in the middle and then movement as well less more but starts off in the middle so let's hear a slight tension All right. And it looks like you can assign your knobs or faders to whatever automation you'd like. Um, let's try less mood first. And then increase.
Sounds a little bit more distorted, right? You're getting more of a mood. All right. So this is less mood with low modulation, right? It's a very mellowed out sound, but as we increase modulation, Okay, and then more mood, lower the modulation. That's a like really distorted sound. And then movement. There it is. Nice. And then of course, attack, hold, decay, sustain. But that's if you really wanna start tweaking the preset itself. All right, so that's already the first patch. Let's move on to something else. Um, 808. So it comes with key switching already at the bottom. So I guess this is the kick. This is the snare, hi-hat, tom, another hi-hat, hi-hat open. Tom, Tom, Tom. And then blue is woodblock. Oh, and you don't have to hold that actually. It will go on that pattern just by simply pressing and releasing. Very nice. I wonder what would happen if I were like, does modulation do anything with that? I don't think so. Let me just hear. I like that one actually. What if I were to change the mood? Interesting. So when I increase the mood, it sounds a little bit more like it's panning. I don't wanna say it's alternating left and right, but it does almost feel a little bit more cinematic, a little bit more uh, of a stereo image. And then movement, what if? Okay, yeah, so that really, it almost sounds closer. When you have less movement, it gets that initial attack, but then it really kind of dies away. I think you can get some really interesting sounds with this 808. Let's try Hornet Unrested. Oh, okay. It's really a little bit loud actually. And I lowered it by three dB. I guess let's lower it a little bit in here. And you can change it by different note. Okay, so this is half. Okay, and then let's try eighth. Sixteen. So that's what it was for the default. Maybe not so much. 
I like it around there. Um, 32. It really blends together at that point. But we got to go 64. When it reaches 64, it just kind of sounds like a slide. All right, so that was Hornet Unrested, Mirror Unclear. has a little bit more edge to that. Very nice. And then if I were to increase movement, but decrease it, and increase it. There it is. And what's interesting is that this patch actually doesn't give us the option of um, like half note, quarter note, eighth note. Let's go for outgoing introvert. I feel like that speaks to me. So it definitely feels much more intimate when we go less for the mood knob. When you add more, it feels a little bit more grand. Let's keep it around the middle and then let's go movement. That's kind of like a little warble effect right there. Interesting. I typically like less warble. Maybe let's start tweaking these bottom knobs here. Let's increase the attack. Gives it much more of a punch. So it was around here somewhere. Let's do hold. Okay, so it just holds it out much longer. Um, decay. I can see you actually making some really cool sound effects there. Some really awesome sound design-y stuff. All right, uh, sustain. So before it would kind of die off even when I increased the hold, but sustain will sustain it. And then release. Takes much longer to let go. It's still going. Maybe I've made a mistake. It is still going. Wow, okay, that was really cool. Maybe let's try one or two more and then I wanna check out multis. Maybe stadium. <laughs> Okay, and they hold nicely. More mood. Much more of a stereo image there. Movement. Uh, 
Oh, so that kind of like really affects the pitch. That's a really cool one, actually. And then I just want to see what modulation might be like. Nice. All right, so that was Stadium. And then let's try just one more. We did the very first one. Let's do the very last. Truce Fairy. I like this one. I like that one a lot, actually. Let's increase the modulation. Let's go mid mood and increase it. Yeah, you really hear the echo when you increase it all the way up. Yeah, that delay. And you can affect the movement here. Sixty-four. Right there, that I think gives the 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 very fairy vibe that the name comes from. You gotta make sure you hit both notes at the same time. Otherwise it does get a little out of sync, but you can of course do that in the your MIDI editor. I don't even remember where I was at. Let's just go three sixteenth. So yeah, that definitely, if you want to keep the pattern smooth, then you really should tweak it in the piano roll. All right, so that is the Truce Fairy. And you have so many more presets to choose from than the ones that we just went over. But for a synth library, it is not overwhelming, right? It's actually not a crazy amount compared to some of the other libraries I've seen. So let's just check out multis. And we have a few here. I'm really excited to see what these are. Uh, let's try fantasy. That just stuck out to me. Organic, hollowing, and cocoon. Theoretically, we've seen these presets. They're just now combined together to create a really interesting sound, I hope. It's a really nice blend between the three. Um, organic. All right, so it's really, it's affecting everything.
and Cocoon. All right, so it's keeping a beat there. And I do believe that these are time locked. Um, if you were to adjust your tempo. Yep. So that was 80. We originally had it at 120. Let's maybe go 160. All right, so that is just a multi-patch. And what's nice is that it's not necessarily like a brand new preset, but by combining the three or however many that they're gonna come with, you get just a totally different sound. So what's interesting also is you can create your own multis uh, by using the same idea, right? Just assign each of the um, knobs or faders accordingly, like how the mod wheel is affecting all three. And you can just kind of pick your favorite presets and create your own multi. So you have a lot of room for creativity and exploration there. And maybe do space to face. All right, so this one's only gonna have two. A slight tension, which we heard before, and shutter, which we have not. Interesting, okay. Wow, all right, so that was Space to Face, and maybe let's try one more, Untitled. Sad Anthem, Saw bass with square teeth and square pulse. All right. Not the sound I was expecting. Oh my God, I love this one. Really, really cool. Sad anthem. Saw bass with square teeth. It really has almost this glassy texture right at the start of the note. And then square pulse.
really, really nice. I think Untitled is a personal favorite. We've only gone through, I think this is the third one, but right away, I know this is one I'm super excited to use. This just wasn't the sound I was expecting at all. So what I think I really like about Scarbo is just how easy it was to use, but there was still so much going on in the back end underneath the hood that we just don't see. I think as composers, the last thing that we need is for something to get in the way of our creativity. So in terms of how this could benefit a composer, the ease of use is amazing. It is real, real simple. Anyone, even if you're not familiar with synths, can understand the mood and the movement knobs. It's just so easy to get the feel of what the synth is trying to do. And then the other thing that I really liked was that it doesn't come with an overwhelming amount of presets. You might think that, oh, well, more is better. Well, to a certain extent that is true. Like obviously you don't wanna spend money and then get kind of cheated out of uh, a good amount of presets. But I kind of mentioned this earlier, I've seen some synths out there where you have maybe like five to six, seven, eight folders, and it's all broken down for you, but there are just so many presets within each folder. And then you're not even guaranteed that those presets are gonna be quality sounds, right? To me, that is overwhelming. I, I don't necessarily want to get sucked into a massive library of synth presets. Again, I don't want anything to get in the way of my creativity, something that's gonna stop me from writing. I'm all about exploring and trying new things, tweaking the sound, but it has to make the composition process easy for me. So I think the benefit of having less is that you're trading off an excess amount of presets for a limited number of quality presets. There are gonna be a ton of synth libraries out there that are probably super intimidating for newer composers and other musicians, especially if you don't know the terminology. But Scarbo is really gonna focus in on simplicity, but still gives you access to those customization features through means like the mood knob, movement, and ADSR. If you're anything like me, I actually don't find myself writing with synths all that often. I definitely have much more of an orchestral background. But with that said, there are definitely times where I'm in need of a good synth patch. So I do think Scarbo gives me a nice balance between technical complexity and user simplicity. So let me know your thoughts on Scarbo or if you're actually looking to buy it. And if you are, don't forget that you can save 15% with the discount code Robert. If you did get value out of today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and go watch my playthrough of the Teletone Audio Golden Age Grand. I'll see you over there. And as always, happy composing.